there's a clear distinction between sp spoken word and written word. Written word is far more accurate, far too accurate to be natural. It doesn't occur naturally for people. They hesitate and stumble and make mistakes, etc., etc. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was among his people for 40 years. They argue in linguistics that people have speech patterns. People tend to use similar kinds of sentences. People tend to make the same kinds of mistakes when they speak. So there's a pattern in speech. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam started reciting Qur'an, was it like his other speech? No. And can you immediately tell, wait, 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 that's not how he talks. Nobody talks like that. I never heard anybody talk like that. What is that? You understand? They don't see a book in front of him. They don't see the angel giving him the book. They don't see any of it. But they can still tell this is not from him. This is from somewhere else. So when they heard it, they would call him a magician. Now the thing with magic, magic is usually and pretty much always something you see. The Quraysh are calling Rasul Sallallahu a magician not because of something they see, but because of something they... Oh, that's weird. That's weird. They are so impressed by this speech, even though they don't believe, that they are ready to call it as impressive as magic. So we think when they called him a magician, they were insulting him. But actually, they themselves didn't even realize they were accepting half the faith already. Because when you call something magic, you've already taken a leap of faith. You're saying, I have no other explanation. It's some mystical, unusual, paranormal activity that's going on here that I cannot describe through science or common sense. So I'm gonna call it what? Magic. Well, you're already halfway there, buddy. You already said it's from the unseen.